What's up YouTube? So here's our prediction check after the first week of preseason testing. And we are going to look at the predictions for this season as its first look. But first, the chain bear questionnaire, starting with question number 10. Because predicting which race Fernando Alonso would win turned out to be a nightmare for everyone except John T, who predicted that Alonso win, would win all of them. It turns out that this prediction gave John T an early lead because Alonso won big in Daytona. Of course, this lead wouldn't last for long because of question number 9 about the livery. John T actually turned out to be the worst because he nominated too many teams to the livery changes. I'm uploading at the same time as this video a, a detailed rundown of the liveries, but basically Dan and I got everything right giving Dan the lead um, on the first four contenders. So me and Dan are highest with nine points and heading into the season. As for the Chain Bear, Chain Bear Bingo Versus, we have now two um, predictions now set because one sponsor has been investigated for fraud. We're talking about Mission Wino from Ferrari. He is under investigation in Australia for violating the rule of, you know, no tobacco advertising. Mission Winner, of course, has no product and is owned by Marlboro, another uh, sponsor you might remember from the early 2000s, which is also a cigarette company. Williams launching red and white was also an epic fail because it launched red, I mean white and blue. So that prediction is out. So one confirmed, one zero, so half and half, but it's also, it's also still too early to say anything. You have now my predictions board, which now has a couple of predictions starting to get set, starting with the Mexican president in Berlin related in some political scandal involving the Mexican Grand Prix because he and the mayor of Mexico City elected at the same time and his running mate are pulling the plug on Grand Prix funding. Why? Because they want to free up cash for a new railway which yes needs to be built but we do also need the Grand Prix and the Grand Prix isn't even coming from the same money pool as the railway. Remember that, I mean, if you're not um, familiar with Mexican politics and taxes, basically the, Mexico's, the Mexican Grand Prix is partially paid for by the government of Mexico City and the railway is being paid for by the federal government. So they shouldn't interfere with each other. So that's just a lame excuse. So... That is a scandal that is worth the bonus point. Brexit is proving to be a political clusterfuck and it's not yet clear if it will have negatively affect F1 teams, but we do know that it will negatively, very negatively affect Britain. People of Britain, throughout history we've faced our share of dark hours. The Great War, the Blitz, and that time when Deborah accidentally used Howard's custard in her own trifle. Where's my custard? Oh no! I'm so right. sorry, Howard. And through all this, our stiff upper lip has prevailed. Because this country is not for turning. Not when other countries have tried to destroy us, and not when we're in the midst of trying to destroy ourselves. 
and I know some are yelling, Britain, come back, don't do this, you're pointlessly fucking yourselves. And to them, we say, oh, we have not even begun to fuck ourselves. We shall fuck ourselves at the ports. We shall fuck ourselves in the shops. We shall fuck ourselves in the hospitals and in the fields. We shall never surrender. And when the dust clears, what will remain? Britain. Not the same Britain, certainly. A worse one, uh, with a weaker economy. Possibly no fresh fruit. And a great deal of confusion over how horses can go on holiday. But Britain nonetheless. And once we've delivered this mortal wound to ourselves, we will savor the taste of victory. A victory that tastes like mummified chicken fajitas. As for the topless pictures, we already have a few um, pictures done. This one is valid because it was uploaded after the 1st of February. This is Charles Leclerc and while this photo of Lewis Hamilton isn't properly topless, it counts. I mean, it's pretty much the most important part of a topless man's body. So that is two points on the that proper prediction. So that's two out of seven or point three which added to the other predictions that we have already seen is 3.3 out of 25 or 50 depending on how you want to look at it so this is the prediction board so far with 13 point uh, sorry 13.3 not 13.15 but it doesn't really make a difference it's just one seventh of a point i will do another prediction check on the second week of preseason testing and i will see you then until then have a nice day and thanks for watching